Don't overthink it. It's just paint. Welcome back to another episode of Paint Society. This is episode number four, where we're getting our project ready for paint. And we're gonna show you all the tips and tricks today on the last episode. You might remember that we finished up all of our Bondo. We got it all primed in, and now we're gonna show you how to get it all sanded down. And we got some help today on our project from Scorpion Paint and Mario from Mario Paint Class. And we're gonna take a look at the blocks. Now I showed you guys these last time. These are for Stick It. Uh, application. So uh, the Dura block is the cheapest. Uh, the 3M is going to be a little bit more because it's Velcro. So we're trying to get something affordable for you guys. We also have our guide coat. Uh, show us about the guide coat, Pedro. I'll explain it to you as you're putting it on. So basically, the guide coat is going to go into all of the uh, crevices and you're going to rub it in really good and it's going to go down into the deepest scratches and the deepest unevenness. And what we're gonna be doing is sanding all of this guide coat away. Now there's two kinds, there's this dry kind and there's some in the aerosol spray can as well. So we're gonna show you a little bit about how to cut this down and we really wanna block out all of our flat surfaces, the trunk, the, uh, the roof and the hood. So what we have here is uh, the uh, Dura block and you wanna use a block that kind of fits what you're working on. So you're not gonna use a smaller block here and uh, Pedro's gonna show us like a crosshatch pattern. And pretty much what we're gonna be doing is we're blocking it until all of the blackness goes away, all of that guide coat. And it's not gonna happen here. What we're using is a uh, P320. Now you could go a little bit lower if you want, but if you wanna play it safe, this paper will still do a pretty good job of cutting it and cutting it flat. So this is probably the hard type, or the hard part of the job. Uh, but it's really what's gonna show the end result, uh, a nice smooth finish after it's painted. And after a quick pass, so what we're seeing is guide coat, right? Now these are low spots, but not necessarily a dent, just spots that still need a little bit of sanding, and that's just what we're gonna do here. So we'll pretty much continue sanding until we don't have any of these low spots. Now, if we were sanding and one was very, very low, then that would be the indication that we need to fill it but I think we did a pretty good job here with our body work, so we should get away with just blocking her out. And after, you can see here that it's all completely gone, the guide coat, so we know we have a good flat surface. Now, that doesn't totally mean we don't have any dents. At the very end, we can check it over with some water. So Pedro and I, we're gonna hit the tunes and we're gonna start sanding on this roof. Once we got it all blocked out, we're finishing up just the little fine areas with your hands. That's fine if you use your hands for different areas like this. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna blow it off. After blowing it off, I got a little bit of a low spot. So we'll just give that a little bit more sand over here. And if it blocks right out, like that did, we're good. Now, this will be a little bit of a higher bleed through area. That's okay because I can feel it. I feel it smooth and we're putting sealer over this. So it's not gonna be a problem. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna reapply the guide coat and Pedro's gonna reapply it because now we're gonna wanna remove a 320 grit scratch by hand, which is much more aggressive than a 320 by machine. We're gonna remove it using a P400 on the DA. So basically what we're gonna be doing is this process is gonna take place on the hood, the uh, trunk, and all of our panels on the vehicle itself just to ensure that we removed properly all of the scratches underneath the current grit that we're gonna be using, which is the P400. And what Pedro's doing is he's using circular motions, and what that ensures is that we're really getting it into all of the scratches. Just don't do it quickie. You can see right here we have a little bit of spot, and this is just a good indication, a good guide to show us, hey, this area might need a little bit more love than other areas. And we're gonna be using our DA sander and we have an interface pad and I'll link everything in the description. And we have our P400 grit right here. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna remove those 320 grit scratches. It's 
same thing over here. You can see now that we removed the guide coat. So anything now that's sanded is a true P400 grit. And if we had anything underneath, we would still go at it. Once again, Pedro and I are gonna hit up P400, get this whole thing smoothed out. Pedro's got everything nice and sanded here. So we're gonna perform that same exact thing, the same exact pattern on the hood. We'll block it out and the trunk. All right, now, the other panels do not require any sort of blocking because the panels here were really good. So again, guide coat, and all we're gonna do is we're gonna hit it up with P400 on the uh, DA sander, and that's it. I've already inspected all of my panels. There's no reason to block something. Don't waste your time on stuff that just does not need it at all. And we're moving into those final steps. This is the final area of the car that needs sanding. So once again, P400 on all of these panels. We're sanding until all the guide coat is gone. You can see that's evident right here. Mario just finished up on the trunk area. And what we'll do is get this all sanded down. Now we don't wet sand, we dry sand. And when we dry sand, we can see exactly what we're doing because it's not a big, big mess. Now at the end, when we wash it down, that's when we'll clean up all of this mess right here that we have. But uh, yeah, we wanna make sure that we just sand on all these edges and we make it nice and clean. All right, so we got everything completely sanded. Now what we're doing is just some final little work around all of our edges. This is what makes and breaks our paint job. So we're scuffing around everywhere. Pedro's got a maroon pad with 400, created his own soft pad. And we're just going around all the edges. Anywhere where the sander just does not get. You can see we have a little bit of guide coat still here. That's what I love about guide coat. It shows you exactly where you missed. There's no guesswork. Make sure you check these edges too, uh, especially right before you paint, when you all have the door open. Just feel them. Make sure, you know, this has been painted a few times, so they could be crusty. Check to see if there's any last minute chips. I got one right there. All I'll do is just take some 400 grit and smooth that out. See, I'm not so concerned about primer on stuff like this. Whole car is getting sealed. That is a good thing about the sealer. If you have a little bit of a burn through here and there, sealer is gonna take the place of the primer. It's gonna wrap it all up, get it in one color, get you a lot quicker to full coverage. All right, so we got everything blocked out over there on the car. Now we're gonna go on the fenders and Mario is gonna take the same guide coat we used on a vehicle. Now this is not gonna get blocked out because we've already looked over the fenders and it doesn't need blocking. 
Some of these parts really just don't need the blocking. They don't have Bondo. All you need to do is get your DA and just sand them smooth. We're gonna be using a P400 grit here. And you can see the same thing. He's getting everything into every single sand scratch, making sure that we remove it efficiently. And he'll perform this on both of our fenders. We just got the whole car all completely blown out. You saw that we opened up the doors because there was some dust that got in there. And that's a very, very big step, a part of getting a clean paint job. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna back the car up. We got a pressure washer, we're gonna pressure wash it. And we're gonna be using some scuff stuff paste to really help get the ending of all that grit and pull out all that sand scratch powder and get this thing ready one step closer to getting painted. Well, that's gonna wrap things up for this episode. We got this thing totally ready for paint. Thanks to the help of Scorpion Paint and Mario uh, Paint, Mario's Paint Class. Make sure you guys check out both of their channels. A lot of great information on those channels as well. What we're gonna see in the next video is we're gonna get this thing into the booth and get this all painted. I can't wait to see what it looks like. Guys, this is Brian from Paint Side. Reminding you, don't overthink it. It's just paint. It's just paint. I'll see you guys on the next one.